Breaking news. It's autumn. <laughs> Time to put on our sweaters, drink some apple cider, and start planning for Halloween. Yeah. Uh, this is my first one, so I'm going as sexy iPhone 6S. <laughs> yeah, the S stands for slutty. <laughs> but before we say goodbye to summer, let's take one look back. Taylor Swift ruled the charts with bad blood. Crop tops were all the rage, and the nation was swept by a crazy dance craze called shutting down Planned Parenthood. <laughs> Now watch me whip. Oh, now watch me eliminate access to women's health care. <laughs> you guys probably heard the radio version. It all began with a series of videos meant to prove that Planned Parenthood was selling fetal tissue for profits. Now, these secretly filmed videos were made by, I assume, some sort of pro-life James Bond. <laughs> which does not exist. <laughs> because uh, James Bond is obviously pro-choice. Oh, think about it, when the kind of uh, pussy you can get is described as galore, <laughs> you're gonna have a few accidents. <laughs> de -de 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 -de. <laughs> so it turns out the videos were edited to make it look like Planned Parenthood was profiting off baby parts. But just because the videos were manipulated doesn't mean pro-lifers couldn't still get outraged about them. I dare. Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, to watch these tapes. Watch a fully formed fetus on the table, its heart beating, its legs kicking, while someone says we have to keep it alive to harvest its brain. God damn! <laughs> when Carly Fiorina plays Truth or Dare, she does not mess around. <laughs> I go back, I choose truth, I choose truth. <laughs> The truth is, the video Fiorina was talking about wasn't even filmed at Planned Parenthood. So, Carly Fiorina, your turn. Truth. Planned Parenthood will not and cannot deny this because it is happening. It is happening in this nation. Ah, uh, okay, fine. But one place it's definitely not happening is in that video. <laughs> but that didn't stop Congressman Jason Chaffetz from holding a House Oversight Committee hearing last week to defund Planned Parenthood. And that hearing did not go well for him. He's getting very roundly criticized for his handling of the Planned Parenthood hearing this week. He's coming under fire for displaying a misleading chart. Chaffetz at times demonstrated also a fundamental misunderstanding of how women actually receive care. Most of America think that he actually got owned during that debate. Well, actually, most of America doesn't watch C-SPAN. <laughs> and, uh, and those who do would not use the phrase, he got owned. <laughs> well, at least not in this context. A smart man would lay low after that. <laughs> but guess what Chaffetz did? <laughs> I am announcing my intention to run for Speaker of the House of Representatives. What the hell? <laughs> A guy who gets stronger the more embarrassed he gets? He's delusional, man which sounds like the worst superhero ever. <laughs> Using his humiliation to save the day, it's delusional, man. <laughs> help me, the bus is heading off the bridge. I'll help, quickly, tell me how small my penis is. <laughs> de de delusional <laughs> But here's why Chaffetz can run for speaker. That hearing might have been embarrassing, but it wasn't a big deal for the pro-life movement, because when it comes to restricting access to abortion, they're killing it. The Mississippi legislature passed a law that requires doctors at abortion clinics to have admitting privileges at a local hospital. Nebraska's new law makes it a felony for a doctor to abort a fetus at more than 20 weeks. North Carolina's governor says he will sign a new law requiring a 72-hour waiting period for abortions. In Indiana today, the Senate there passed a new forced vaginal ultrasound bill. You might not be a fan of pro-lifers, but you have got to admit, they are damn good at what they do. The same way the Knicks have to give props to LeBron James, or the same way that Dolphins have to give it up for tuna nets. <laughs> I did not think I'd end today in a can, but well done. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> the craziest part is abortion is a constitutional right. The Supreme Court said, this is the law. And the pro-lifers were like, I accept your challenge. <laughs> It's sort of like when The Rock tried to convince us that his name is Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> and we were like, nice try, The Rock. No one looks like that and is called Dwayne. Am I right, ladies? Yeah! Yeah! 
because nobody wants to smell what Duane is cooking. <laughs> it's truly amazing how much the pro-lifers have been able to accomplish in the anti-abortion fights. Just imagine what they could do with an issue where the facts are actually on their side. Yes. Yes, that is such a deep thing to think. But what other issue could appeal to those who love life? According to the Brady campaign to prevent gun violence, there were more than 97,000 people shot in America this year, more than 250 each day. And now, 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 think about it, people. <laughs> Imagine if we could bring some of that pro-life passion into being more, well, pro-life. <laughs> then, after a mass shooting, instead of this reaction... I don't think... Uh, more government is necessarily the answer to this. Look, stuff happens. There's always a crisis. Instead of that, instead of that, we could get this reaction. I am completely pro-life, and I believe that we should have a culture of life. It's informed by my faith from beginning to end. Wow, somebody get that man a tranquilizer. Woo! <laughs> which, is, which is ironic, because usually Jeb Bush is the tranquilizer. <laughs> Which sounds like the worst movie title ever. Help me! The bus is heading off the bridge! Look, uh, stuff happens. There's always a crisis. <laughs> it happens. Even Carly Fiorina, instead of this reaction to the Oregon shooting... I think we need to know a little bit more about this incident. We would get this reaction. I am really tired of being called extreme on this issue. Every life is filled with potential. That's right, Ms. Fiorina. Maybe not the potential to become president, but definitely, <laughs> definitely in the top 12. <laughs> and here's the thing. If pro-lifers want to fight for lives outside the womb, they don't even need to change what they're saying. They just need to add a little bit more. My work is behind me to make sure that innocent life is protected. And obviously, you can't let someone get out of a background check just because they buy a gun at a show rather than a store. That's just idiotic. <laughs> you see? Even without the glasses, he's still pretty smart. <laughs> you try it, Representative Joe Barton. I think every life uh, is precious. I think the Congress should do everything that we can to protect that life. By passing a ban on high-capacity magazines, for instance. I mean, you're going deer hunting, not playing Call of Duty, for Christ's sake. <laughs> wow. Wow. Barton makes a point that is both compelling and oddly pop-culture savvy. <laughs> but it shouldn't be surprising. This is really just common sense. If we save one life, that's important. And it's important to the American people that we save every life we possibly can. Which is why I can't understand why Congress passed a law banning health agencies from even researching gun violence. What the hell were we thinking? <laughs> Once again, I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> the point is, if pro-lifers would just redirect their powers toward gun violence, the amount of lives they could save would reach superhero levels. They just need to have a superhero's total dedication to life. Because right now, they're more like comic book collectors. Human life only holds value until you take it out of the package, and then it's worth nothing. <laughs>